guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. So today I get to bring you along for a simple but oh so delicious sweet and sour pineapple shrimp. And it is gonna be fantastic over some basmati rice. We are gonna have a beautiful dinner. So I hope it inspires you to stay and watch the video, have a seat, and uh, I'll share this recipe with you. And this is another way to use that sweet and spicy Thai chili sauce that I made for you and canned up. So if you think that it makes too much, here's another reason why it doesn't make enough. <laughs> and so go down in the about section below and check out all the links that I've left for you. And uh, let's go make a delicious Asian kind of inspired dish and uh, get our shrimp on, come on. I am super glad that you stayed for this because this is a simple and easy weeknight meal. You can actually prep some of this stuff ahead of time and it makes it so much easier to come home and throw this together. Stir fries are just, it's fast food and it's delicious. So in this bag, I have all my veggies prepped and I try to prep things ahead whenever possible. I've got about a half of a red onion, a half of a sweet white onion, one bell pepper, one red pepper in here and four stalks of celery. Celery is uh, one of the best things you could possibly put in your body. And the peppers are full of vitamin C, the celery is a diuretic, as well as an anti-inflammatory. It's, it's fantastic. You should be eating celery four to five times a week, if possible. Onions are delicious and they're so good for you. So that's what's in this bag. Tons of veg in this dish. I've got two pounds of peeled and deveined, um, I peeled and deveined these shrimp. And what I want to show you is I took each one of them after I deveined them and then I went ahead and opened this up. And what's going to happen is they're going to fan out and look fantastic in this dish, you'll see. So two pounds of 16 to 20 count shrimp. I've got a can of water chestnuts because we like that added crunch. And then right now I'm going to make my sauce. So this is my uh, pineapple and apricot sauce. It's not a jam, it's not a jelly. I made this so it could be used in sauces. So we're gonna go ahead and open that. And we've got a jar of my um, homemade sweet and spicy Thai chili sauce. And shake that up and get the garlic and the peppers all mixed up. Look how beautiful. This is a go-to sauce. You have to have it because all your spice elements are taken care of. You don't have to worry about it. It takes the guesswork out of cooking. So let's get this ring off. And we're gonna go ahead. I mean, this is a lot of food to sauce. So I'm gonna go ahead and add equal parts of, so that's a half a pint jar of this sweet and spicy Thai chili sauce. And I'll link a video on how to make that in the description box below. And then we're gonna add a jar of my pineapple and apricot. Main ingredients, pineapple, but we use this uh, when my husband was eating ice cream. He liked it over ice cream. It's great over uh, puff pastry. It's, it, it's really a decadent little deal. So I've got a half a pint of that. Now, you're just going to mix this together. And then, as always, because the sugar content is, you know, varies from batch to batch, you're going to go ahead and get a little taste and make sure you've got the flavor that you want. Mmm. Oh. Oh, man. That is delicious. It actually makes such a perfect, sweet, sour, tangy, spicy, delicious, decadent mix. And um, I also am gonna add a, let's see, this is a 20 ounce can of chunked pineapple. So pineapple chunks, and we may or may not use all that sauce, and if I think that it needs to be thicker when I'm doing the stir fry, um, I will go ahead and thicken it with a little tapioca starch or cornstarch or um, sure gel, uh, clear gel, not sure gel, clear gel, 
and uh, make it a little thicker, but I think it's going to be just right because we're having this over some basmati rice. So this dish is going to go super quick in the wok. And the basmati rice is already done. So there you go, fast food my way. Okay, so I have my wok up to a really good temperature. It's very hot and um, not quite to a smoking temp. You really don't want to do that. And then to test it out and make sure that it's hot enough, my vegetables have all been brought up to kind of a room temperature, so to speak, as well as the shrimp. I'm going to put my veg in first. And this goes really, really fast. Go ahead and turn your heat up to high. Our sauce is going to be our seasoning. So as soon as I delicious. feel like I've got a good hot pan going here, or wok um, going, and I'd love to have a cast iron wok, but I can't really put that in the budget right now, so that's okay. About, uh, oh, let's say five minutes into this. We're going to go ahead and add our shrimp because the vegetables will be heated through and hot enough to start cooking the shrimp. And remember, we have two pounds of shrimp for this, and we have a whole eight ounces of sauce to go in here. And that's going to go over our uh, balsamic rice. You could use jasmine rice, plain white rice. This is just what we're using. So I want to make sure that everybody gets kind of heat it up here before we make a decision. So to I feel like in. everything right now is screaming hot. We're going to go ahead and put our two pounds of 16, 20, 20 pound shrimp or prawns, however you say it in your area. I know um, there's bigger shrimp out there and these are So let's beautiful. put a little bit of the sauce in. Let's put half of it. Um, and remember, that's the pineapple and, uh, oh, we're going to have to put all of it. There was no half in it for this big batch. So I had to bring you back because this is beautiful, um, and it's done. The shrimp have just butterflied open, and look at them. It's absolutely impressive, delicious, and I couldn't just plate it out without bringing it back for this because I did add a little cornstarch slurry to this um, because it needed to be thickened a little bit with the water from the vegetables and then the sauces were not that thick. So now we're gonna plate this up. I have some the finished rice. product right here and I can't wait to taste this. It looks absolutely succulent and delicious. And if you look at these shrimp, um, when they open up, it just makes them look so much bigger and so much more impressive. And so we've got this over a bed of basmati rice. We've got the crispy peppers, the succulent shrimp, and that sauce. Let's take a bite. Look at that. Yum. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Mmm. -hmm. mm. So sweet. Sweet and sour, tangy. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, I'm going to have to eat my whole plate right here. I love the pineapple feel to this. So I hope this inspires you to come back next time. Maybe make this dish. If you do, go post it on my Facebook page. I've got all the links that you'd ever want in my description box below. And I hope you subscribe. I hope you come back next time. And Thank you for all your support. Can't wait to see you next time. Alright guys. Yum.